Um, hey guys, this is Vlogmas day two. Um, I'm a little low energy today because I just got my period, so I'm suffering. But I was thinking, like, maybe I should go live on TikTok today too. But it's like kind of confusing. Like, what is this layout? This is confusing. I've never been live on TikTok. Um, so maybe not. I already did this eye. Oh, wait. I want to show you guys the look I'm doing. I just did one eye and then my brows. I don't have like any other makeup on right now. But let me show you. If I can find the screenshot. audio okay my little sister said it's not okay oh this is the look i saw this on instagram on reels so i i like this like it was inspired by this but i don't like her iteration of it i think is Mm. I think the dolly eye look is like a little more heavy. I don't know how to explain it. Yeah, her, I like her makeup, but I think this one, the shape is a little different. So I did it a little differently, but, oh, why is it this, why is it so green now? Oop. The auto white balance. Zoom back in. Okay. Um, okay, let's do eyeliner first. Pop out chat. Using the Clio Gel Presso Extreme Gel Presso pencil liner. This is my favorite in gray brown. I feel like most brands usually don't make a grayish brown. So this one, this one's my favorite. I'm not sure because like this eye actually took me a really long time because I don't know if you guys can see but this eyeliner shape is kind of similar to the one in my most recent video but it's a little different and this I feel like this eye look is very intricate because it is like based off of an artwork struggle of hooded eyes is you have to like check every time you draw a tiny line of eyeliner Okay, next I'm going to take a lighter brown eyeliner. Okay. And then this is also a gel presso. Okay, 
it won't show but it's the same brand this one is in soft brown Oh, the mirror is from uh, Flower Flower Nose. Yeah, they have really, really, um, really cute and intricately designed makeup. I wanna. Oh, it's not here right now. Let me see if I can grab it. Should I go grab it? Yeah, I will. Be right back. Did I lose it? Oh, it's over here. Yeah, let me see. I opened. I don't know if you guys have seen this brand. It. I think it blew up on TikTok actually. Also, I was trying to figure out like, I saw they recently had a campaign where they um, they are releasing a new collection. It's like a chocolate themed collection. And it they did like a 3D design thing. Like they hired a digital artist to create this animation for them. It was so cool. I was like trying to figure out who the artist was, but I couldn't find any info on it. Look at this. It's like, um, it reminds me of Fl Florisis. Yeah, Florisis, I've done a few videos with them. They do also do the engravings, but this is like a different aesthetic. It's more like girly. So pretty. This is the outside packaging. Cute. I really like how they did the back too. I don't know, something about it, like cute makeup like this reminds me of like my childhood. It just reminds me of like buying those cute princessy things, you know? Like the Cinderella heels that everybody had. I don't know why I'm struggling so much with this liner. I think that the thing with this line is like you need to go closer in the inner corner but then once you get to the outside you need to pull it out how did i even do this like My eyes are also uneven right now because I put eyelet tape on this one and I, for, I like I'm supposed to do it after eyeshadow on this side, but whatever. Yeah, the eyeliner is uneven right now. It's okay. It's whatever. Oh, also I have to leave early today because I have a, my first therapy appointment with a new therapist, so I should probably rush to speed through this. Uh, okay, eyeshadow. I think we should just use blush. So I'm gonna use the Kaleidos blush. I really like this one. It's not as pink as it looks, trust me. It looks really pink in the pan.
Okay, maybe it is pinker than I remember. It's okay, whatever. Okay, let's put on our eyelet tape. So I always cut these in half. Where's the other half? Okay. So this one is the other half of the one that I used. And then for, for this, actually, the placement, I'm not putting it in the center of my eye like I usually do. I'm, I'm applying it like starting right here on the outer corner more and then it'll create the shape like, let me show you. It makes the crease look longer out so it looks more like the artwork because in hers, her double eyelid goes all the way across where mine doesn't. You can see it's like, well actually, I don't know, you just can't see it very well. It just needs to be a little bit higher. There, you see, now it's like, it was like you couldn't see it before, but now it's lifted up. And then if you want, you can take one of these tools. This came with my double eyelid glue, but I don't like the glue because it's just too messy. Okay. Let's fill in the lash line. And then curl our lashes and apply mascara. Oh my god. Um, so it depends. I think eyelid glue and eyelid tape have their own um, benefits. It's like usually some people prefer one over the other. For eyelid tape, it is more noticeable than glue in my opinion like glue you usually can't tell that people are wearing it but if you're wearing a lot of eyeshadow or eyeliner um it might get messy or like get in the way or like mess up the eyeshadow um but with eyelet tape i like it more just because yeah it doesn't mess with the colors or anything Oh, this mascara is Clio. Long curling. And then I'm just going to pinch it together. Just a little bit, not too much, because we're applying individual lashes. So... Like, we still want some of them to be not pinched together, because then it creates the natural separation where there's like little lashes in between rather than just spikes because you know how some people like sometimes they apply um the non-spiky lashes in between the spikes 
if you do this, like if you don't pinch all of them together, you don't have to do that. Okay, so these are the individual lashes I'm using today. I got them from Yes Style. You can get them anywhere really. AliExpress probably has them. These are really popular in China. Tweezers. Yeah. <sighs> Every time I have to get up and walk, it's so difficult. Like, I don't know why, but like over the years, like as I've gotten older, my period cramps just got worse. It's just, it's just so painful now. So let's apply, I'm using, I'm just going to use one of the really long ones first on the outer edge and then the rest are going to be the shorter ones, shorter. So take an eyelash, I don't know if you can see. Yeah, I don't know, it's just... Or maybe I'm just like not as tolerant of it now. I don't know. But like, I remember in high school, like when people would take medicine like Advil during their periods, I was like, oh my God, these people are so dramatic. Like it's not even that bad. But now I still don't take Advil, but I can understand why somebody would if they were experiencing this type of pain. So just apply it on one of the spikes. <coughs> my sweater is from Me Mine. It's my friend Crystal's brand. It's so hard because like my tweezers are sticky from lash glue, so then it's just stuck. Oh, there we go. twisted hmm. doesn't look terrible okay next eyelash pair we're not gonna apply too many I think we're just gonna apply three more so the thing is with these lashes some people have asked me like how do you apply them like how do you do it faster or, like easier it's it's always hard for me like it's just that i cut out all the parts where i fail in my videos because nobody wants to watch that and it's like very time consuming but yeah it usually takes me a couple of tries too i mean i think practice will probably help too but i feel like it's always going to be a little difficult <laughs> maybe if you're like a lash tech it would be easier. I feel like you do lashes. It's always like you have to have the right amount of glue. The right placement. I wonder if my makeup's gonna be done by 6 p.m. How long does it usually take you guys to do your makeup? I usually 
not not just makeup but like accounting for like picking an outfit hair and everything i usually have to start getting ready at least three hours before an event or anything like before i account for traffic and leaving the house it takes me three hours to get ready usually but i think like Makeup usually takes me around like one to one and a half hours if I'm like taking my time. I could probably do it in like 45 minutes if I was rushing or I wasn't wearing a lot. But I don't know, I like, I like taking my time. Two hours. Oh yeah, one hour to plan, yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Oh, that last one was so easy. Why do I feel like this side looks shorter though? Hmm, whatever. I might have grabbed the wrong lash lengths. Let's apply another long one out here. Actually. Nah, let's just leave it. Um. Oh, some of you get ready really fast yeah okay but like what do you when you guys get ready are you like watching youtube videos or because for me i like listening to like podcasts and stuff and then i have to find the right episode or like uh, i'm just making excuses for myself <laughs> I've always like really liked the pr whole process of getting ready though, like it's something that I always, even in high school I always enjoyed, like um, I would wake up at 5am every day to do my makeup and I didn't mind because it was like the highlight of my day. Let's do, okay, before I do the rest of the under eye makeup, like this side, I'm actually gonna do the base because I might mess it up. So let's apply moisturizer. I'm running out of this. The Glow Recipe Watermelon Niacinamide Dew Drops. This stuff is so good. That's why I really like get ready with me videos though, like, cause I used to always watch them getting ready in high school. So I actually recently switched out my NARS foundation for this. Um, I don't know, I just have been wanting to do a lighter base for the winter. And I tried this and it's so good. I don't know why nobody's talking about it. It's the Lancome Taunt Idol Ultra Wear Care and Glow. Um, I guess it's a skin tint with SPF in it. And I'm in the shade 105W, but I mix it with my concealer. This is actually what I wear when I want a really light base. So on days where I want a really light base, I'll, I won't mix it with my concealer. I'll show you, but I'm gonna end up putting more anyway. I'll show you what I usually do. So I apply, take a little bit and then apply right underneath my eyes. And look how like, it's like a perfect shade match. It's just so natural. getting too close to the eye. <gasps> I messed up by the under eye. Okay, I knew I would, but whatever. Let's 
See, it looks so natural. The shade is 105W. This is like a little more olive toned. Um, I think it's, it, it's a little bit too olive for even me. Um, like a little too greeny. So that's why I usually mix it. But for the under eyes, it's just so perfect. For the rest of my face, like if I only apply it like in spots, you can tell that it's not like it is foundation because it's not a perfect match, but it's so perfect. Okay, I'm gonna mix it with my concealer now to get a more full coverage. This is Too Faced uh, Super Coverage Concealer in the shade Snow. So I actually don't use a separate concealer and foundation anymore. I always mix them together. And then what I do is I apply, so let me mix it that and then I apply I already did the concealer area so I, I won't touch that but I apply the mixture to the areas where I would normally apply concealer so here and then I put the foundation or like the mixture everywhere else I would apply a foundation so this it thins out the product but it also Mm, it it kind of makes it a perfect medium consistency because usually concealer is really thick right because it's supposed to apply give you more coverage but then foundation is usually thinner than concealer so this it like just gives you more coverage for foundation but less coverage for concealer it just gives it like just an overall medium or -er coverage Um, my skincare routine right now is what have I been using? Uh, the Very Good Light Cosmic Dew Water Cleanser, and then the Isntree Hyaluronic Acid Toner, and then the Beauty of Josun uh, Serum, either the green one or then I just skip to moisturizer. The mirror is from Flower Nose. It's so satisfying when you get like the perfect shade match. Then I'm gonna apply a little bit more, or should I? Actually, I'm just gonna apply a little more concealer in the areas that are like a little darker. Like you can see I have like the marionette lines, is that what it's called? Okay, for my accent, I've heard that I have an accent and sometimes I actually hear it when I'm editing my videos. Um, usually you can't tell, but I do think that sometimes uh, a little bit of a southern accent comes out when I talk because a lot of people don't know this, but I was actually, I'm from the south, like I was born in Alabama. so. I don't have any memory of living there and I don't think like I don't think I was even two before or like I think we left when I was two probably but yeah that's why sometimes like when I'm editing videos I hear myself say like highlighter like highlighter or something like that is so embarrassing but it's like it happens sometimes when I'm like 
excited or if I'm talking really fast, sometimes it'll just pop out. And it, it's like hard for me to intentionally do it now because like my dad actually, he used to use it as like a party trick. He'd be like, oh my God, my daughter can do a, a Southern accent. But like, it's been so long now that it, I have to like really concentrate for it to come out or for it to, to like do it. But um, yeah, sometimes I don't know, it just comes out. And people used to tell me that and I didn't believe them. Like people would be like, oh, you have a Southern accent sometimes. And I couldn't hear it. But now like, now that I talk on camera so much and I'm like editing these videos of myself, I can definitely hear it. Looks good, looks good. I don't know why I'm taking my time because I'm literally in a rush, but let's do cream contour next. I'm using the Fenty Beauty Amber. Um, my nail took a chunk out of it, as you can see. I'm going live five days a week for vlogmas so I haven't really decided which five days I was initially gonna do Sundays and Fridays off but I'm not sure if that's like if I should switch it to the weekends I'm not sure is that loud I'm from uh, Florida, so like I was raised in Florida. I was born in Alabama. Hmm. Okay, for setting powder, this is what I've been using recently. And okay, when this first came out, this is from Laura Mercier. Their translucent setting powder is my favorite powder. But when this first came out, it's a brightening version of it. And I didn't really care for it because I was like, I like the other one anyway. But I actually really like this. It's like, you can see it's like a little pinkier and it gives you a bit of a more brightening effect. I never tried it until I went to their event recently and they were like, we think you'd really like this. So then I tried it and it's my new favorite powder. It has the same exact consistency as their regular one. It's just like a little bit more coverage in my opinion. Like the other one is completely translucent. This one is like, a little brightening so it, it gives the illusion of more coverage but with the same amount of product in my opinion Oh, I'm, I never visit Florida anymore though because like my family moved out to California so there's um there's honestly no reason to go back but I do miss it sometimes like it's very different from California there are like charming aspects of it but it's still like I still don't prefer it you know Okay, next, let's do powder contour. This is from Kaleidos. This is my new favorite contour shade. Ooh. This one. Everything's mirrored, so I can't see anything. Also, I have like very bad like hand-eye coordination. I recently, I was taking this video of me putting, um, making hot chocolate and I 
was recording it and I put marshmallows in the cup and I completely missed like I put it like in the video I dropped the marshmallows right directly behind the cup that's why like sometimes people are like oh like you should play games or like do you want to try playing this game or I can't like I, I don't know my hand-eye coordination is terrible I could never I think that's why I'd be bad at sports too. do have individual lashes on right now is mascara and the spiky individual lashes that we just applied earlier these ones okay i think this looks decent next okay this is honestly my secret trick for nose contour I don't know if I've talked about it on my channel yet. Wait, let me do a little bit more. It needs to be a little heavier so you guys can see the difference. So if it looks too heavy, it's just for demonstration purposes. I feel like on camera, you still can't see it that well, but in real life, it looks pretty heavy, okay? This is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Complexion Perfecting Micro Powder. So this is a setting powder and like, or no, it's a finishing powder. So it's not a setting powder. You don't use it to set your makeup, but usually this is used in like photography makeup to really mattify and perfect the skin. But what I like doing with this, it applies like a little, a little bit of coverage is I apply it to the sides of my nose using a puff. This is just from Bite Beauty, which RIP Bite Beauty, but this is, you just apply it to the sides. Just like that. And then we'll just leave it for a little bit. If you, guys ever need like really matte perfect skin for something you need this powder just apply it to any areas like here i'll show you any areas that you want to be super matte Here, where's that shine coming from? Right here. Oh. See? Oh, hi, Soy. Um, next, I'm just gonna remove the nose powder and I don't know if you guys can tell but there is a little bit of coverage that it applied this works way better than um, using a setting powder or like a translucent loose powder like this like a lot of beauty youtubers you see will do that where they take their puff or their sponge and just apply it to the sides of their nose if you've ever tried that yourself, it always, it almost always looks cakey. Like it, you can tell that there's like a clump, clumps of powder that were applied there that were whisked away, you know, or like, at least for me, that's how it is. Um, but yeah, this, because the powders are so fine and it applies a little bit of coverage, 
it's so much better. And then for this, I feel like it almost takes away some of the coverage. It just looks clumpy, chunky. Um, the powder puff, it came in a Bite Beauty powder, but Bite Beauty doesn't exist anymore. Um, they changed to Lip Lab, Lip Lab by Bite, which is their lip lab, so that's the only, like, evidence that Bite Beauty ever existed anymore. Mm, okay, next. Gotta speed this up. I need to speed up. Okay, um... Let's do blush. Okay. Let's use my favorite Revlon one. This is from this is Wild About Vi Wild About Violet, which is more of a pink in my opinion, but this one has like micro sparkles in it, so. Hmm, I feel like the colors are so dull on camera. Maybe it's the the auto white balance, but yeah. This is very pink. Maybe yeah, let's try another blush. Mm, where's that one I just used? Ah, the flor uh, flower nose one, so pretty. So pretty. This is a little bit more of a dusty rose color, but let's apply it anyway. I like rolling it on because it kind of it presses it into your skin better and makes it last longer. So in this picture, it looks like she has a lot of blush around her nose too. It looks like almost like the crying makeup. Um, I need to find a way to set the white balance so that it doesn't always auto correct. So I'm gonna apply it around my nose too. Looks good. Um, I wish I had a darker. Maybe let's try this one. This is the ColourPop Disney collab Floating Lights blush. So it's this pink shade. And then I'm just gonna apply it on the nose. It looks like almost like I, I'm crying. Um, okay. And then let's do lips and then we'll go back to the eyes. Hmm. What should we do for lips? Let's start with lip liner. I'm using the Peri Para one in Rosy Nude. And then I'm going to take the Ink the Velvet. Actually, should I use something pinkier? Ah, whatever. Ink the Velvet in number 17 at Rosy Nude.
Oh my god, we have eight minutes, guys. Oh no, I'll be able to go back to eyes. Blend it out with a brush. Be a little pinkier. Let's apply the Unleashia Glossy Lip. Um, I don't know what color this is. And then actually let's draw some fake lower lashes or maybe let's do the the under eye fat thing first so how I do this is I apply a lot of eyeshadow right under like, like almost like you're smoking out the lower lash line um, apply a little bit of a darker color And then take a nude eye pencil and then just line right here, like right in the middle of that eyeshadow thing that you just applied. So it creates that highlight illusion. Taking my NYX brow pen, I'm gonna start drawing some fake lower lashes in the same pattern that she did. So she, it looks like she did a lot of wispy ones. And then moving in towards the inner corner, they become like more rounded. I feel like the under eye needs to be a little more dark. I don't know. Let's try a little bit darker. Okay, I think that's pretty good for the amount of time that we had. Oh wait, we need to... Her skin's really matte, but I want to do highlighter, so I'm going to apply a little bit of the glitter stick from Alicia. The 
ties aren't even, which is bothering me, but like, hmm, let's see, we have two minutes. Also lined the upper eyelid like I extended the double eyelid or I accentuated it okay this is my best attempt for the amount of time that we had of this makeup look. I think this eye looks better. I wonder if I can show you. Like there's more details on this eye, but yeah. Thanks for joining this very short live stream. I might go live again on TikTok after my therapy session, but yeah, this was so much fun and maybe I'll try to fix the makeup on TikTok after too. <laughs> Thanks guys. I'm sorry today's live was so short. I'll do a longer one tomorrow. Thanks for joining guys. See you later or tomorrow. Bye.